Let's drink together, everybody! Prosito! <laughs> hey guys, today we're gonna be starting a new show on the channel. By popular demand, all the foodies have recommended isekai, izakaya, Japanese food from another world. I figured I could start this on the back side of doing like ReZero and some other shows as well. Um, and we'll kind of just see which one takes the most popular, uh, you know, position of the shows that are not airing in this anime season. And we'll see what we do, see what we can fit in. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I am going to be reacting to a lot of anime. So uh, I don't want you guys to get your hopes up super high that I'm going to be like doing this every single week. But I figured I had some time today. The new season hasn't quite started yet. And I wanted to, you know, check out a new show. And so let's check it out, man. I re people said that if I really liked Restaurant to Another World, which I did enjoy it quite a bit, uh, that I would enjoy this show as well. And it's out there for all those foodie people, man. You, you people who like the cab fryer cooking in another world, the dungeon meshy, the, the Restaurant to Another World, I'm doing this for you guys. So I know I know absolutely nothing about this show. I did get recommended it by my, one of my friends as well. But I think what people said in the comments from the previous videos for Restaurant to Another World is that you know this one's gonna be kind of a almost an inverse situation where they're going to be coming to the restaurant and the restaurant actually is in the isekai world but they serve japanese food in the world maybe i could i could be totally wrong about that and they told me that you know in this show they also like their beer which you know I also love my beer. So if this is your guys' first time on the channel watching this show here, you guys would love to know that I've also watched Campfire Cooking in Another World with my absurd skill. I'm currently watching Dungeon Meshi, and I have finished all of the seasons of Restaurant to Another World, and I'll put the links to those playlists in the description below if you guys want to check out those videos as well with me. They're actually short episodes, um, so yeah, we'll see what kind of good ass Japanese food they're gonna make for us today hopefully you guys had something to eat before you watch this because otherwise it's probably gonna make you hungry if we know anything about these foodie anime and if you guys do end up enjoying it like the video if you do subscribe if you're new to the channel we're really trying to go for 10,000 subscribers before we get to summer that'd be super awesome and you know however well this video does we'll decide how soon we get another episode of it or another video on it soon so also comment down below what your favorite dish was from today's episode and what you think about the series in general thank you guys so much for watching if you want to support me you can do so on patreon links in the description below when you do that you get access to the uncut versions of these reactions you get access to the private discord server and it's just an overall great experience and you get to you know support me directly but if you don't want to do that that way you can also support me on youtube for people who can't do patreon uh you can subscribe down below and next to that is the join button and if you click that you can also support me and you get access to the private discord server and at least you get out the videos that are not airing in this season you get those out early unlike everybody else who has to just wait for them to come out so if you want to do that it's there if not totally fine i appreciate you for watching the video let's check out this isekai isekaya let's go let's go okay i actually think i've been to an isekai before look at that the door front or dope or front door opens into a parallel universe okay so it's actually is similar to restaurant to another world Okay, look at all of this raw fish and semi-cooked fish you got here. Holy shit, they're ready to cook that up on a platter, motherfucker. That's going to be delicious. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's actually like the building is in um, a specific town in the other world but then the door is literally the for the izakaya is literally the uh teleporter right there first episode potatoes and odin and i feel like i'm also gonna learn a shit ton about um japanese food today because i don't even know that much about it other than like sushi hansu nikolaus how long is that gonna be on the top there <laughs> It's payday time to eat. There we go. The Isakai Nobu. The entire like, what is with the subtitles on the bottom? Are they in Japanese? Were those those green? Were those Japanese letters? Kartoffel. What the fuck? Oh, yeah. What kind of world are they in right now? Glass is a luxury. Some kind of medieval place, then? 
There they are. Irashai. Dude, owner looks pretty badass. Shinobu is her name. She's a cute waitress. I love her already. Got some all kinds of sake in there. I'll have a what's on tap. You guys are going to have beers? Let's go. Luckily for you guys, because you said we're going to have beers, I prepared. <laughs> Whatever is on tap. <laughs> Let's go. Biru, 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 biru. As Akira from Zom 100 would say. Biru. You got a drink. We got a drink together right now. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's drink together, everybody. Prosito. <laughs> Bro is chugging that shit. Oh my god. Umaso. <laughs> No, dude, when, when it, cold beer is so much better than, than warm beer. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Look at his Adam's apple go. <laughs> oh my god, he's a champion! Yes, exactly. Psycho! <laughs> oh, we're getting drunk today. <laughs> Man's eating some edamame. Yep, boil that edamame with salt. I've had that so many times at Japanese restaurants, sushi restaurants. Okay, I was always wondering. I was making sure I was eating it the right way. It's pretty good. Should I show you if they're warm? See, I'm going to test my limits of my Japanese food knowledge in this anime, dude. Yeah, me, yeah, seriously, when you start, you can't stop. It's true until the whole bowl is gone. <laughs> this is kind of fast-paced. I like it. <laughs> oh my! Oh, you ate them all already. Yeah, <laughs> the rest of my life eating beans. <laughs> She's so sweet. I know, I'm falling in love already, too. <laughs> it doesn't take that much, honestly, guys. Just give me a cute anime girl. <laughs> Dad, he looks pretty badass. I love his hairstyle. Also? <laughs> Wait, it's Rudy's voice actor. Same guy. Ogita, I think his name is. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> he's the owner for the Nobu show. So we're watching this. What was the other show we're watching? Um, he's He was uh, Yare in Spice and Wolf the other day that I watched. And he's going to be Rudy. We're going to be watching a lot of Ogita today. Ooh. Wait, 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 wait. I got to pause and admire it. We got Odin. Odin. The only reason I know about Odin is because of Odin from One Piece. <laughs> so it looks like there's... Oh, bug. Killed it. Um, I forget. So it's like a daikon radish. And then maybe... Is there any noodles in here? I can't tell. It's hard to see the steam, man. Oh, okay. Uh... You know, they're just going to tell me what's in it. I don't know. I remember him making it, though. Making Odin on an, on an old man's dead dead man's skeleton. Steaming daikon radish in hot egg. Wait, it said it right here. It'll drive the chill out of all your bones. It's like I'm watching, like, an infomercial with all this stuff on the screen. <laughs> Weena. What did he give him? Oh, falls apart. Yeah, it's gonna be hot. Oh, 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 I was right about the daikon. Oh. Uh. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> that meat? That's clearly some kind of meat. Don't know about that one. <laughs> Who is that, Thor? <laughs> the wolf? Potato. Oh, they have a different name for it, too. Oh, you will. You will. <laughs> Mustard? K Karachi? Oh, that's what you think, but obviously it's going to be delicious, right? Oh, he's freaking out. <laughs> It's a spicy thing? Yeah, they're really fluffy and they've been cooked for a long time. Man's drinking some sake over there. Atsukan, hot sake. I actually did have hot sake when I went to Japan. I'm going to be honest, I like cold sake a little bit better, but it was good. He loves all of it, man. Schnapps? <laughs> man, he's loving everything here. <laughs> Hebereke? What does that mean? The goddess porting wine? What is going on right now? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> hey man, whatever you like, man. Oh my god, it's so wholesome! Ah, she's shining! <laughs> Literally, it's too bright for me! Ah! <laughs> Who cares? We got a delicious bar to go to now. <laughs> Man's actually drunk. Oh, did he fall in love? <laughs> With the bartender? Not the bartender. The, the, the hostess? Nobu Plus? Whoa! They're gonna show us like the actual food. This is Odin. This is real Odin. Okay. All right. Kartoffel. <laughs> is that actual German? You're not making too much. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, potato salad? Odin potato salad. What the heck? This is turning into a full-on cooking show, dude. I was not expecting this. <laughs> We're getting the Japanese Martha Stewart. Mash it with a fork. Daikon steak? Lightly oil. So they warm up slowly. Dude, this is kind of awesome. I was not expecting this today. I thought it was going to be full anime. Mayo? Mayo nasal. Yeah. <laughs> Fukujunzuke? I don't know what that is. It looks kind of like peppers or something i don't know is this is the lady talking like the same voice actress as like the the um the waitress at the nobu at the at the izakaya maybe it's different uh, okay <laughs> butter si soy sauce <laughs> You're having alcohol. You want a bite or two of many things. Yeah, that's true. You want to eat a lot. Look at this. Look at this. It's like 
are all children. This is crazy, dude. <laughs> this is so creative. You guys who watch this show, have you tried making the stuff that is in this? Is this going to be in every episode? Try it at home. Oh, we're going to be drinking a lot of beers. I'm going to need to stock up. Oh! You guys thought I didn't see that? You thought I didn't see the, the hot blue-haired girl in the corner over here? Well, I see a lot of exposed back here. That's going to be good. <laughs> All right, you guys are right. Fuck. I should. I know you guys. I, I try to listen to recommendations, but it's impossible, literally impossible, to watch all of the anime that you guys want me to watch. I just don't. There's not enough time in the day, the week, the month, the fucking year, or the amount of years that this channel is going to be live to watch. If I tried to listen to every single recommendation, but on this one, you guys were right. You guys are right. It's almost more fun than Restaurant to Another World in some ways. I, I'm going to learn more about all these different dishes that I didn't know about in terms of Japanese food, too, from this. Whereas, like, with Restaurant to Another World, it was like, oh, yeah, I know what this is. Like, of course, like a burger. You got, like, uh, macaroni. You got steaks, stuff like that. Because it's more like a Western restaurant. Obviously, Nikoya was. This is a Japanese restaurant. So I'm going to learn about all kinds of food. And not only that, we're going to have a fucking cooking segment with a real cook every single episode, too. He's going to teach you how to make this stuff that's actually pretty fucking cool uh, not only that boys love their beer i mean the boys in nicoya also loved their beer wizard guy um you know a couple of the other people the dwarves absolutely loved their beer but these guys seem like they're going to be drinking every single time they go in i mean an izakaya at the end of the day is also a bar so like they're going to be drinking beer ale sake the entire time and it's gonna be beautiful so i need to stock up on my beer god damn i didn't even think about that if i'm gonna have drink have a drink with every single character in the show i'm gonna need to get some more beer uh but actually i liked that so much i think i'm gonna watch the next episode right now fuck it let's watch it juicy karage now i know what karage is we got better told though okay we got hans again and we got a different character here is this Oh, he is taking the camp commander. He actually ended up taking him. Alright, better told though. Let's check it out. Alright, let's get some what's on top. Now he's the one who shares it. I wonder if each character is going to share it with a new character as we go along. The thing to drink after work. Prozito! <laughs> the physical effects, man. He chugged it too. Is every guy who walks in there gonna chug his beer? God damn. Oh my! Gotta smash that at a mame, of course. Another one. She snuck in another one there while he wasn't even looking. <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't even think about that. Can't read the menu. Oh, what's that? Cuttlefish? Dried cuttlefish. Tactical retreat. Oh, challenging him. Chicken dish? And that becomes the karage? He's going to test them. Well, that's because you guys aren't cultivating chickens correctly in your world. On the house, whole pickled cucumber. Ooh. Yeah. Gotta love the pickles. <laughs> I mean, they're basically just pickles, right? I mean, pickled cucumber is just pickle. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Men's gonna raise his blood pressure so much by eating that adamame and, and a whole ass pickle by himself. <laughs> That's what he said about that, the beans last episode. 
同じものをもう一皿くれないかあととりあえず生二丁 Damn, they're on beer number three and we're only four minutes in Pickles. What time is it in their world? Rakyo? What is Rakyo? Oh. It's right outside. Hey, she got the booty of destiny. Hey, yo. So it's literally in the back alley somewhere in Japan. <laughs> what a frivolous luxury. <laughs> Man's never eaten anything fried before. Here we go. Oh, he's got it. Shobu! <laughs> Double fry. Oh, that looks good. Oh, shit. I mean, karage is just fried chicken, basically, so. <laughs> it's going to be delicious. I just know it. They, they got to nail the crunch sound effect. They got to nail it. Don't fail me. Listen. Turn your volume up. They nailed it. Bursting with flavor! Umami! <laughs> oh, now that is a Food Wars explanation right there. <laughs> Goes great with beer. Straight up the Food Wars explanations and scenarios playing out behind them. You win this round. He's 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 savoring it. Enjoy the moment. That's what I'm saying. YOLO. <laughs> That's lemon. You were supposed to put it on the chicken, bro. <laughs> he's like fucking with them. <laughs> he's gonna get another order. <laughs> Master Okairi. <laughs> Nasai! <laughs> Just a prelude. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta order your own. <laughs> <laughs> He's trolling him. <laughs> that was his reparation. That was his trolling. Uh, is, he, is he too busy? Oh no, he made something else. Chicken nanban? <laughs> the ultimate thing is now being used for something else. This is just too much. Magic chicken nanban. Tartar sauce. Wait, was it tartar sauce? What did it say? Go back. Tartar sauce made with rakyo on top of the chicken mom nanban. Okay. <laughs> The real battle starts now! <laughs> no. Uh, oh, you better not take it from Shinobu-chan. No, sir. Mm, the crunch. The sound effects, they come out like it's a JoJo's episode. Oh, he ran out. That means he's going to have to come back. <laughs> The tragedy! <laughs> no, he just wants to go back now. Yeah, there he goes. Hi-yo! <laughs> Here he comes. What's today's Nobu Plus? I've been there. I literally have been here. I think, the, right, right? This. Oh, wait, no. Maybe. Is this the same one I've been to? I think this is the one I went to when I went to Japan. This is in, in Tokyo, right? I don't remember what prefecture it was in, 
But yeah, I think I've actually been here. I walked through those gates that were having a bunch of, it was during the Sakura Petals coming out too. And, uh, you know, there's a big shrine back there where you can pray and, and donate and stuff. I'm pretty sure I've been here. Asakusa. <laughs> Let's go. Nagura Kenichi. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's a folk singer? <laughs> oh shit. Kokoro. Ah, beer de. Beer. Premium beer. Come by, Nagriya san. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. Uh, uh, they put it in school lunches? Whale? Oh, look at that thing get cooked over there. Now that just looks like regular fried chicken that we make here, honestly. In the end? Uh, it looks delicious. A little massaging. <laughs> I want that now. I want to go there. We didn't go there when I was there. Damn it. <laughs> Another beer. Cheers, man. Absolutely. <laughs> That's just cheating, man. That's not nice. That is not nice. Asakusa must be the name of the area, huh? And they, they advertise for them, too? That's actually pretty great. Well, that was fun, guys. I think I'm going to continue this. Like, I don't know how often we're going to continue it, but goddamn, that was fun. Having those little extra sections in the end with the Nobu Plus just adds so much more of uh, flair and, and flavor to the entire show. Just getting to see, like, a, a Japanese folk singer go out to Asakusa and just, like, eat karage and beer at a bar at a local bar that's awesome that's fucking awesome i love the character so far i kind of just like how much more fast paced this one is um than uh than restaurant to another world i mean i'm gonna hold out by full judgment until the end of course but like so far this is really impressing me I, I i'm learning a lot too about japanese food and i can't wait to learn more can't wait to be more hungry and just be jealous about all the delicious food you got over there in japan so if you guys want me to continue it you guys know what to do Press like on the video, comment, you know, try to get this out to as many people as possible, and we'll see where it goes from there. Let me know what you guys thought about the episodes down in the comments. Look forward to reading them. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Cheers. And a big shout out to our in the comment here, subscribers and above on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are absolutely amazing. Could not do it without your support. Thank you. Hunter DeLupin, JMC, Wu Yi Zhang, Bone Inc., Corey. E. Hellstrom, Eric Barden, Erky506, Fireheart310, Hapoko, Jose Rafael Castor, Joseph Ariaga, Lucas Bull, Oreo, Salty Fries, Sean, Shorty Tori, Vengeance Cookie, and Bridie Lee. Thank you all. That's going to do it for me for this one. I've been Zachy, you've been you, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.